Hello, it's Monica Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using the Sketchfab add-on to directly download files from Sketchfab directly into Blender, and then also we'll get one of our old files and actually upload it to Sketchfab. So first off, I'm going to download it from the link in the description, and then we're just going to go Edit, Preferences, we're going to click Install, find our download and double click on it, and then we're going to put the tick button in. Beautiful, we can close that. Let's press N to bring up the side panel. Sketchfab, here we go. Let's activate the add-on and then we have to log in. Now that we've logged in, we can simply just go search. Let's just go spaceship and press enter. Let's have a look what comes up. There we go. And obviously we've got options that we can filter out a little bit more. I'm just going to click the next page. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's import that model. And there we've had it. We've brought in a model from Sketchfab directly, you little ripper. So here's our car from the short film that we're currently working on. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you can hit that like button to help the YouTube algorithms bump up this video. First off, we need to activate the add-on. So once again, let's log in. Oh, it's got ready logged us in. We go export and I'm going to select all this selection only, which is good. And this will be a uh, sci-fi racer car description. Cool car for an animated short film tags. Uh, let's just go broom. <laughs> we'll keep it in draft and then let's hit upload. And there we have it in Sketchfab. Our model has up uploaded. Um, this is all hidden stuff that I didn't realize had been hidden. If we just enable the filters up here, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of stuff hidden. So that's where all those weird little objects are coming from. But a very simple, quick way to go from Sketchfab to Blender back to Sketchfab. 